Wait, what? <laughs> what? Before we start off with today's episode, make sure to check out the Fuku store below and use the discount code for 20% off your entire purchase. Fuku.xyz. Be bold, be you. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's video, where today we're going to be looking at the video from Red Velvet and Wildside. Now, I do want to point out that the moment I uploaded the teaser look and feel, this video came out literally 30 minutes after, but I wanted to give it a day to basically sink in and see what I'm going to pick up early in the morning and see what this MV is about, and that is what I'm going to do. Before we start with the video, like always, if you have any recommendations, put them in the comments below, and of course, if you've got any type of comments, guys, put them down below as well, because hey, we're a community, we learn from each other. Other. But I would just say, let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into Red Velvet with the Wild Side MV. Alrighty, a little bit nervous, but I think it's going to be, uh, I, I, from what I saw from the teaser, it should be quite pleasing. Okay. Okay, okay. So I already had the feeling as if it's going to be some sort of criminal activity, and we saw that as well from the teaser. Ah, nice. I love that. I love, one sec, before we even get into the video. First, I love that there is a bit of an intro. It basically gives you a little bit of a, a feel to what's about to happen. But I also like a lot the color red that appears, you know, red velvet, the red stone. It's a small little, small little element, you know, that that pulls you closer to the group itself. And there's like, I don't know what the full meaning is behind the diamond yet, but there is a connection between the red and the red velvet group, you know? One sec, can I have a look at that as well? One sec, one sec, guys. I want to analyze it. So the one thing that I don't like about this diamond is that you can clearly see there is some sort of marking here. Like there's dust or dirt. Could I not have cleaned this a little bit to make it a little bit more sparkly? It just looks dirty, you know? It looks like a bit of plastic. Maybe they should have gone with a glass version, polish it up nicely, but this just looks a bit, yeah, cheap. It looks like plastic. I, I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest. Let's go. Nice, a little bit of an intro. So the syncing between the voice and the lips is a very off for some reason. Like it, it, it feels really weird. Like when I listen to the voice, I, I feel as if their lungs and their body just speaking, you know, for it. But this just looks completely out of sync to what I hear. But uh, let's see what happens. Maybe it gets better. Actually, before we continue, I just want to talk about one particular scene. And that is basically here we have this girl sitting. There is one thing that I learned, and I don't know where it was. I think it was when I was having singing lessons where whoever told me to do it, they told me never sit and sing. It just doesn't look good good and it also doesn't work good for your lungs in other words you can't get you cannot produce the sounds while sitting especially this comfortable and this is the reason why these sort of elements which we're going to see this part just doesn't look completely off because you know that the sound here you can see that they're putting a lot of breath in who are you you see the who a lot of air is coming out who are not so much you a lot of air is coming out again but here it just looks way too comfortable it's a bit of a shame, but it's okay still. The shots itself are really, really nice. But I'm very picky when it comes to, you know, the syncing between the voicing and what we see actually on camera. It's something that has to be spot on at all times. Nice. I really love this part, actually. It's it's very clever, uh, this part. Everything else is dark, and then you have, you know, more or less you can see what's in the background due to that spotlight, but then you also have a shadow. Really creative shot. I really like this one. Wait, what? Were they on rollerblades? What was that? One sec. That is such a weird shot. What is happening? So the camera is zooming or going backwards while it's being zoomed in and then it zooms out digitally as well. Or it's such 
a weird shot because the floor looks as if it's moving. Maybe the floor texture is just really odd and they shouldn't have used this at all. Like, I don't know. It, it feels as if I want to get sick. Like, I don't want to say this is a bad thing. It just makes me think like so many things are happening in this small shot. Like, what is happening? I thought the floor was moving and that they're rollerblading all over that floor. I don't know. That was a really weird shot. Like, I don't know whether I like it or not. I've just never seen anything like this. It is unique. I hope it doesn't come again, though. <laughs> it's really weird. Again, robotic arm here, moving around the dancing choreography. Super nice. Here we have a crane shot. I like these kind of crane shots, you know, that we get a bit of a, a higher shot as well. Really, really cool. Different perspective. This is, again, I already said this in the teaser as well. Like, this is my favorite shot. It is just something you can have as a poster because it tells a story. It tells something strong. You see someone is really focused on looking through this hole. Okay, so the one thing that I notice in this shot, let's go back. This one is correct. I like the lens they're using here because it's a fisheye. And also the filter that I use here, you know, gives you the feeling as if you're looking through this element, you know, that glass element in the door, that, that peephole, I think it's called. But then the next shot is losing that fisheye effect. And it seems as if they try to add it in post, but it doesn't do it as nice as the other shot. So maybe they should have left the effect here and then remove it here again, you know, keep the choreography to the choreography because it's also weird that you're looking through the same people and then it's just jumping around from cut to cut. Maybe they should have had something else in between, you know, to go from uh, people to people. Maybe a different door reveals something else behind it. Like, could have been cool as well. You see, because now they took it away again. Like, they should have taken it away from the start. I really love those trap beats, actually. They're really nice. You know, you just want to... I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling that they're just using so many diamonds, so many, you know, glittery, shiny things and everything that I know they're going for an expensive look. They want to pretend it's as if it's diamonds, but... Sadly, it just comes over a little bit artificial because you can see that those chandeliers are not diamonds. They don't glitter. I mean, they're not even crystal. Crystals have this very unique type of glow to it, a very unique type of shimmer to it. And here you can see they're not shimmering really nicely. Bit of a shame, you know, like maybe they should have gone a little bit, bit more with higher quality props for this feel. But uh, yeah. Speaking about the set itself, I really like it again. I love natural I natural items, not natural items, you know, plants. Give it a little bit more of an oxygen feel to it. Like, you know, we're living in the future. We're living in a place where you can have a small concrete type of building still look very alive due to the plants. Very nice. And it also makes everything look alive. You know, the color green just makes you think of, of nature. You know, it makes you think of, uh, of something being alive, something being working and not dead. It's nice. Nice doggy. Who doesn't love a nice doggy in a video? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Like, I, I love the idea of the prop here. Like, don't get me wrong, you know? But why did they not just cover up this screw? Like, it seems like this safe has the weakest plot hole ever. Like, literally, it seems as if you can unscrew this element <laughs> and then the safe opens. Like, I get that this is supposed to be a safe, but why did they not just plaster it up a little bit and, you know, fix this? This just looks really stupid because it's just a screw that you have, you know, you use for hanging up a painting or something. It's not something you would see on a safe. This, you know, these are the elements you would see on the safe. These very big, big, those big bolts. But this one just seems completely out of place. What? Man, this is what I'm trying to say with this MV. It just looks as if they have a very cool concept, but they were saving money here and there. That just, that, that just, I don't know. This is a bit weird. Like this, I think is the biggest weird element of the entire MV. Like this is uh, really sloppy from the production house. You know, just put some stuff on it, you know, make it... Wait, we can actually see... One sec, one sec. I want to analyze this a little bit better, okay? So she's opening up the safe. I want to see if the screw is turning. 
Okay, so the screw is turning. So why is it weird? Really weird. They could have maybe had that item that is spinning on that screw to make it spin, but why not just plaster it still to make it a little bit cleaner? This just looks really, you know, you, you need to think about it. That safe is supposed to be metal, okay? That safe is supposed to be pure, pure metal. No screw is going to penetrate it. No screw is going to go through it like this. You have to imagine that. Like this for me is really, really bad. Maybe it's because I worked at an agency and we really worked with big production houses that focus on small details. This is just very sloppy. I would have really just told them, fix this. This is really crap. This is just terrible. And you have to be honest about these things or else you're going to get these small inconsistencies in the videos, you know, to make them as good as possible. But it's there now. Weird choice. Like this all is great, you know, like don't get me wrong, the choreography, the song, the music, the beat, it's all beautiful. But why do they not just have it also on the set? Like look at those transitions, really, really nice. Now everything is good here. It's just the props are really, really sloppy. Wow, that was really cool. So this is a really nice effect that you can see here. You're basically looking through a piece of glass and this is more or less the corner of that glass box, you know, and it causes this, this weird glitch effect or whatever you want to call it, but it's not a glitch effect. It's actually a practical effect due to the glass. You can see the glass here and then it's reflecting her face again. This is really nice. I love these kind of effects because it's not something you do in post. It's something you do on set. Really creative from whoever was filming here. Really nice. And here you can more or less see the box. Nice. One sec. I want to check out that mirror for a second. There was something about it that... Why is the mirror on these hooks? Like, could it not have just put it on normally? Like, put it normal on the... I don't, I don't know. Like, it seems as if they really want to show some behind the scenes like this seems like as if something you would you know do in case you want to be quick but no house no place you go to has mirrors hanging off strings why did they end up screwed on the wall and it could be purely because these walls are just really weak you know and they cannot even hold this mirror really weird production house here this is really the weak point of the entire video so far and I'm sorry for being critical, but I have to point these things out because or else I'll be being unfair to myself. Because if I go on set or I do something with clients, I need to be this critical as well. And there's no excuse, even for Red Velvet and the people that were behind it. But this is quite sloppy. The lasers are also really nice, really cool. I'm just trying to process what I'm seeing, like the theme and everything to the song and to the beat. I need to listen to it one more time. I love those very big black cinema bars. Where are they? I think it's this shot. Like, this is really my favorite shot so far. It's so focused. You barely see these kind of shots, but these are very interesting to me because it's just nice. And also here, I also pointed this out in the production, you know, like, why could they not have removed this piece here as well? Put in a new one because it just looks dirty. It looks like as if there is a fingerprint on it and everything. Really, really weird. You would want these elements to just be nice and shiny, you know, just in case there's a reflection of her or something in it, you know, but a weird choice. Really interesting video. I mean, Feel My Rhythm, in my opinion, is still the better song, especially if we do it from a comeback, but... This MV is, it's, it's a bit of a question to me. Like, why is it the way it is? Like, I don't feel the connection between the song 
and the 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 MV. It seems as if it's it, it's it's counter interacting with one another. I get that they're going for like a badass type of feeling, but I just don't feel the badassness from them. It seems as if everything is in their control anyway. It seems as if they want to you know control the entire environment, but I don't know. I don't feel as if they're going with that badass feel, especially with the Red Velvet group. It, it's a bit questionable. I mean, guys, what do you actually think about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you feel that connection, or do you also feel as if there is something went weird in the background because it seems very rushed it seems as if red velvet is just put there to be in the mv even though they don't fully understand either with the feel they're going for like they don't really seem as if they're enjoying it for some reason again if we compare it to feel my rhythm or if we talk uh, about you know peekaboo there i feel a really good connection between red velvet and and the song but here it seems as if it's really just counterproductive for some reason and it's it's it i don't know it's it's really weird it might have been that the production company just did all of this without red velvet even being interfered you know and they just went with what they had and boom there you have a video maybe this was a very rushed production but in my opinion i don't really like it um i i, I like the shots don't get me wrong i i like the entire mv it just so many weird elements in it that just make it like man why did they not just fix this this and this and this why did they not make it a little bit more badass also with the colors maybe just make them a little bit more dark you know the beat is a little bit you know sinister as well like dun, 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 you know it's not like a happy beat so why can i not just make these scenes a little bit darker way uh, uh you know instead of just having wood let's make you know dark walls you know black walls a little bit more you know go a little bit more evil you know as if you're watching james bond or something you know where the colors are nice and contrasting and they punch you in the face like that is something that i would have wanted here especially if i listen to the beat if i listen to their voices it seems like they were missing that point but hey i still think it's a good mv but i wanted to be honest about it so i hope this is understandable for you guys but yeah guys thank you very much for watching and again sorry for being so critical but i have to be critical with some points especially when you come to making these videos you have to think about it these productions cost a lot we're not talking about a thousand euro we're not talking about to we're talking maybe about 100k or so you know for the entire production house to be there i need to watch the behind the scenes for this video 100 because i want to know what happened there maybe we can see a little bit more about the storytelling and i hope this is going to come as well very soon um and to youtube i hope maybe in the next couple of days if it does come put it in the comments below i would love to really look into it but uh, guys Thank you very much for watching and I hope you did enjoy and you learned a few critical points about me looking at this video. And if you did enjoy, like always, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any recommendations on what you want me to look at next, put it in the comments below as well. Because, hey, I would love to see your recommendations and I'll just say see you on the next video. Love you guys.